One of the hardest parts for me when it comes to decisions, when it comes to my commentaries, is deciding whether to do it as a pre-record or a live stream. Now, I could have easily done this as a live stream, and God knows I wanted to do it, considering the amount of editing it's going to be with this pre-record. But I said, you know what? I already have enough lives on my plate, so let me just go ahead and do this as a pre-record and see what exactly comes of this. So, in case you've been living under a rock, Marlon Wayans and Vlad, the culture vulture himself, ended up getting into it on social media recently in the last few days. Mind you, I'm recording this video on August 21st, 2024. So it was probably about less than a week ago when all of this went down. But I want to start at the beginning of how all of this happened. So apparently, Aries Spears sat down, or as I like to call him, one of Vlad's regulars, sat down with Vlad to do an interview on Vlad's decaying platform and you'll see why I call it decaying as we go through this video so he sat down with him they're just having like a regular conversation and then all of a sudden out of nowhere Vlad just happens to bring up Marlon Wayne's name out of the blue and and it's like okay well by him doing that we already know that this isn't going to go well but okay fine so Vlad brings up Marlon Wayans name and he brings up the fact that Marlon Wayans wants to ch well Vlad wanted to do an interview with Marlon Wayans Marlon Wayans gave Vlad a price of $40,000 to do an interview with him plus I believe about 33% of the profits that he makes thereafter basically any money that he makes off of the video which we all know Vlad would monetize Marlon Wayans would get 33% of those profits and it's like okay fine whatever well, Vlad took it some type of way. He bought it up and he basically aired out Marlon Wayans, basically claiming that this man is not worth paying for, uh, me paying him $40,000 plus 33% in profits to sit down with him because he's basically a washed up has been. And we're just sitting like, uh oh, here we go. So after that occurred, Marlon Wayans got wind of it. And then that's when all hell went loose. So we start with this post right here from this person whose name is really OD1, who said, at Marlon Wayans, you a good one because at DJ Vlad would have to pay me 500,000 for an interview with 55% of all revenue made from the video on all platforms to which Marlon ended up replying with three crying laughing emojis saying, see, I tried to tell him I was giving him a deal Oh, well, and really what I think of it is, is I think that Vlad also mentioned how, you know, Marlon sits down with other people to do interviews and he's not charging them nearly as much as he would charge him. Well, the reason is because it's Vlad because of who you are. It's not like it's a secret or some unknown thing that you are indeed a culture vulture. So that's probably why Marlon charged you that much. And really, to be honest, based on what I've been hearing from other people, they said they believe Marlon charged him that much because he knew Vlad wouldn't accept it. That was his way of saying, I don't want to interview with you without actually saying, nah, I'm good. So he just threw out a very astronomical price just to not sit down and interview with you, which was actually smart on Marlon Wayne's part because it actually made Vlad expose himself even more. Let's continue. So here we have this post right here that came from Vlad and he said Marlon Wayans found someone with 200 followers to 100 followers to agree with him LOL nobody on earth is going to pay Marlon $40,000 for an interview when he gets 100k to 300k views on any platform he interviews on the guy is really delusional and then he pulled up images of him on Jimmy Kimmel then he was on the breakfast club and he's on this other person I'm not entirely sure who that is and those views were you know like Vlad specified 100k to 300k views now there was another screenshot that I couldn't find but apparently DJ Vlad was also on the breakfast club and on that interview it had like 760 plus thousand views and Vlad made it seem like he was doing something the reason why that video or that a post from the breakfast club got that many views is because of the title it had Tupac's name in the title where it was saying something about DJ Vlad solving Pac's murder or some some click baitish real title I wonder what the likes and dislikes even look like on that particular video considering that just sounds extremely embellished almost as embellished as roly-poly wet yan martin claiming he pulled up on dr khaled muhammad but he couldn't even handle a pull-up by jamal green make that make sense let's continue 
So here we have Marlon with the response. Now, let me be honest with you. I kind of like grabbed these screenshots. So hopefully they're not completely out of order, but I think I might be in some kind of sequential order. So Marlon did, came back and said, you mad? You unprofessional, my guy. If you don't like the number, keep it moving. You look bad. You should fall back. Mad at a black man stating his number. And now you go public and use your platform to try to drag me. I never in my life dealt with this silly negotiating tactic. And it was very unprofessional of Vlad. And you'll see what I mean when I bring up the next post. Because then he went even further to try to go after Marlon for something to further try to degrade him. And this is a pattern that Vlad tends to have, but I'll specify what that pattern is as we continue forward. So this is the post right here that I believe Marlon was talking about. I just have them kind of slightly out of order. So Vlad said, Marlon Wayans, I'm sorry that you don't find me attractive. That's just weird, just the, that's, your, that's what you're leading with. But anyway, he says, well, fortunately for both of us, I'm heterosexual. Between your recent gay photo shoot and your claim to fame dressing up as a woman, this would be the perfect time to fully come out of the closet. Coming out as gay in 2024 will surely revive your declining acting career. And since I turned down your 40k offer for an interview, I'm pretty sure you can get that amount for your first gay porn scene. Marlon Gayens would be an awesome porn name by the way. Now he's going based off of this photo shoot that Marlon Wayans did during Pride Month. And the reason why Marlon Wayans did that is because if y'all don't know, Marlon Wayans has a trans child. He has a, well, he has a daughter, biologically born, double X chromosome daughter, that transitioned, quote unquote, into a Hall T man. And that's why he ended up doing that photo shoot. He wasn't doing it on his own, own behalf because he's in the academy no he did it because of his daughter and he's uh, of well of his child i'll leave it like that he did it for, on that benefit and didn't specify that's why he did it so here's vlad literally stirring the flames and making something out of nothing to try to make himself appear more i guess you can say boastful than he actually is and i forgot to say it earlier keep the view thing that i talked about in mind when i talk about views on videos and whatnot because i got some screenshots to show y'all when it comes to vlad's so-called views but let's continue now let me just preface this by saying some of these posts might be out of order because they now this is just a full on roast of Vlad because there's no more screenshots from Vlad because he pretty much stopped after this. And then everything else is just Marlon just flaming this dude. So we have this post right here where he says, hey, hey, DJ Vlad, how did you go from this to this turkey? Now, the reason he wrote turkey is because apparently Vlad went to Turkey to get some kind of hair transplant or hair restoration basically i guess his hair was thinning and he was trying to re like rebuild or re you know rejuvenate his hairline so apparently he went and he got something done or not his hairline but his facial hair that's uh, facial hair hair listen the hair that's sitting on his head and on his face he apparently went and got something done in order to go and get that fixed and that's why he put turkey because apparently that's the location where he went to go get the operation done so then marlon follows up with this and again this is coming off of that post about his hair transplant he said this is dj vlad after his next hair transplant and it's just a bunch of hair on someone's face with glasses on it and it's colored red which is ironically the same color that apparently vlad got as a dye job i don't know if that's his natural hair color or not but we know there he puts some red and stuff into his beard or something and i've seen a rich a recent picture of vlad i don't know if it's recent or not and it does kind of look like this too especially with you throwing the glasses as well because i think vlad wears glasses like i said everything now is just becoming a full-on roast of this dude and rightfully so then marlin makes this post he says hey dj vlad you are way too hated by the urban community to f with me i love you ain't watch the video where's your face and I think he was supposed to say mad, but he misspelled it. But we understand, like, he, he was most likely fast tweeting. He says, mad, you couldn't exploit me? How much the government paying you, bro? He hope it it's, it's, it's at least uh, 40K. Now, it's funny he mentioned something about the government because there's always been this speculation that Vlad is an agent or in a plant or some kind of government op especially when it comes to black people like think about the questions he asks the people that he has on he always has these rappers on 
it was at a time when they would be asking certain questions and all of a sudden the people he would interviewing they would end up getting hemmed up they would be getting hit with charges or even some of the people that were being mentioned in the interviews would get hemmed up or hit with charges and for some odd reason it was always when they went on to vlad's platform in which this happened so when people say they are not unaware with what vlad is all about trust me when i tell you they know then marlon says this is why we don't f with you dj vlad you a lame i ain't the first but this might be your last we pulling that beard back today fella exposed and he posted up a video from a youtube channel and the title of the video says why doesn't hip-hop respect dj vlad now there's an interesting story and I actually just like learned up more about it. I had heard bits and pieces of how Vlad actually really got started. Apparently, back in the day, he did an interview with Rick Ross, and uh, it was some questions that Rick Ross didn't want to be asked. Vlad decided he was going to ask him anyway. Rick Ross and his crew apparently put pause on Vlad. Vlad got a huge settlement payout and then he used the bulk of that money to get his platform started. So literally this dude got his start on his platform kicked off because he was poking the bear and the bear bit back. And he got paid off of that, off of provoking someone. And that's how he ended up getting his come up. I think there's some other little things that happened with him there as far as like investments and sponsorships and all kinds of stuff like that. But apparently, that was the main reason how Vlad really got started in the capacity that he is and unfortunately why he's still here today. I knew there was another post that I missed because I've sent here sending myself. It was one that I missed with, the, especially the part where Vlad tried to call Marlon Wayans gay and all of that type of stuff. It was this post right here that he clapped back with. So again, like I said, it's slightly out of order, but Marlon said, is any of that funny though? So now you exploit blacks and punch down on gays. Tisk tisk. You want to be hated by everyone I see. Vlad, nobody wants you. You're on dick, your own dick won't let you touch it it me to you like and that one right there like that's how you know you're dealing with a comedic genius because i'm gonna be honest with you even the best roaster who is not a comedian probably wouldn't have even thought to say something like that and that's what he came back with and i think this was the post right here that got vlad to stop because like I said, there was only one other post left that Vlad had and it was the one time to call Marlon Wayans gay. And when he came back with this one, I don't think Vlad replied anymore. Like it was like he, he waved the white flag and that was it. But like I said, you saw the other post. Marlon clearly wasn't done, but this was the post right here that made him stop talking. Then Marlon came and said, this song was made for you, DJ Vlad. Boom, game over. And we all chant, they not like us, they not like us. And he puts Astrid Crip Rock and Sues. And he posted up the Kendrick Lamar Not Like Us song and video, which in my opinion is probably like the song of the year. Like who would have thought a diss track would have really took over the way that it did. So he posted that in relation to Vlad. And his craziest part about it is that does relate to Vlad, if no one else, but, but definitely to him for sure. He definitely isn't like us. But then there was one more post that Marlon did make after this and it was this one right here he says now I'm done most of my followers are saying who the fuck is DJ Vlad and there it is that's the last post Marlon made and then the whole thing was done after that like I said Vlad already waved the white flag many tweets ago many posts ago but Marlon was not done and he was letting him know what it is so that was the last post that Marlon made now remember what I said about keeping a pin in the so-called massive views that Vlad gets let me show y'all this right quick what you're seeing on your screen is post well screenshots that I got off of my phone I went because I was just curious and I was going to use it anyway so I said why not I, so I was just curious so I went over to Vlad's channel just typed his name in for research purposes of course because I definitely wouldn't watch anything he has to put out there no matter who's on the platform and I'm looking at these videos that he's done and mind you he was mass uploading like crazy like whether it was a full-on interview or maybe clips and all of these videos whether they were short videos like maybe 10 minutes or less or something like that 
if you look closely at the views, none of them match anything relative to what I would say is conducive to his subscriber count. Now, for those of you who don't know, and I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, Vlad has a subscriber count of about 5.8 million subscribers, somewhere in that range. Why does the view counts for even his recent videos look like that? I'll tell you why, because many people have pulled back from him. Many people do not mess with Vlad like that like they used to, especially when he got exposed for being the way that he is. I really think when he said what he said about the minister, that's what really made people scale back from him. And I wish they would have scaled back before that, but if that's what it took, then it is what it is. So when he talks about these views and all the stuff he gets, he doesn't get views like that. And notice when he got those set again, when he got that 764,000 plus views for that interview he did with the Breakfast Club. Well, one, he did it on the Breakfast Club. It wasn't even on his platform. And two, it's because it had Pac in the title. So people were curious. So he had to go on another platform to get mountains of views that he cannot get on his own platform. But like I said, his view counts for his videos don't even add up to what a person who has 5.8 million plus subscribers has. There are people who have way less subscribers than him who do way better numbers and don't even upload at the same frequency as him. So that's saying a lot. And a lot of them don't even interview these big time or rappers or actors or entertainers. They're just getting on there shooting their shit, just talking whatever. And he can't even do that, at least not like he used to, because, again, people have already exposed Vlad for who he is. And that's another thing that pisses him off. And speaking of something else that pisses him off, this interview right here, the interview heard around the world several million times and then some. The interview that pretty much kicked 2024 off in a very interesting way, and that was the interview with Shannon Sharp and Cat Williams on Club Shay Shay. At the beginning of the year, this interview went so viral. Like, if viral wasn't a word, it would have been invented because of this interview. You're talking about almost three hours of content in one sitting that had made, got millions of views in the first week. By the end of the month, it was near, it was like at 50 million views. I think currently right now it's sitting at like 77 million views. It has to be one of the most watched videos of the year. And who would have thought that would have happened? I mean, thinking about how Shannon Sharp kind of came late into the podcasting game. And, you know, he's coming from the sports world and he's doing this. And then on top of that, to make this even more interesting, he took clips and clipped the video into separate clips and made more it made more it got more views now the reason why i'm bringing this up is because vlad in my honest opinion was very upset that he could not match that he even came out and spoke about shannon sharp i think i even talked about it on my channel when he was basically trying to say or downplay how much money shannon sharp first off why are you watching this man's pockets let's be real here let's why are you watching this man's pockets but we already know pocket watching is what a culture vulture is going to do and he's mad because he's not getting those views, at least not like that. Even when he was getting amount, a certain amount of views, he still never matched that. Even when he was still having a good engagement on his channel, he was not matching that. And that was from one video. That was from one freaking video. And he's upset because he never could match that. So he started speaking ill about Shannon Sharp, trying to say, oh, he only made like a million dollars. I'm going to tell you right now. This man, Shannon Sharp, made way more than a million dollars on that one interview. I can almost guarantee that. And I can say that with my whole chest. But since Vlad does want a pocket watch, Vlad, let's ask how much money you've made this month. And I'm not talking about through sponsors or any type of endorsements. I'm talking about through Google AdSense. How much did you make this month? Let's just be completely honest with ourselves here. I bet Shannon Sharp probably made more in this year alone on that one video than Vlad has made in the last year. And that's what pisses him off. But, you know, Shannon Sharp, again, was not the only person that Vlad decided he was going to go after this year. 
Don't forget he also decided to come out of the side of his neck and go after Taraji P. Henson. Because if you remember, Taraji P. Henson was talking about the pay discrepancy that black women were dealing with in Hollywood right around the time when she was promoting the color purple. And he decided to, you know, stick his nose in there again something that has nothing to do with him and dealing with a black person's finances and he decided he was going to stick his neck in there and basically telling her to suck it up and just deal with it and move on it's not this it's not that I'm like how do you know what it is or what it isn't you don't live in this woman's world you don't walk in her shoes every day she told y'all what it was and he's going to come out there and say what he says and it had nothing to do with him i spoke about this as well but i think it was this one right here this situation involving this woman right here that really made people give Vlad the cold shoulder. Now, in case y'all don't know who this is, this is Morgan Jenkins. She is a professor at Morgan State University, ironically. And she basically came out and said something towards Vlad around a time when Not Like Us came out and was really popping, like really viral at the time. And Vlad says something, I can't remember exactly what he said, and then Morgan decided to come back and say what she had to say. And mostly in, in the same tune with what Marlon said when he mentioned Not Like Us. And man, did Vlad get in his feelings again all the way to the point where he decided he was gonna try to reach out to Morgan State, not even just reach out, but tag Morgan State University in his post demanding that they fire her because his feelings was hurt. And he tried to say she was being racist and all types of stuff like that. That fell on deaf ears because again, the community came out and dragged him some more all the way to the point where Vlad ended up issuing a so-called apology, which I hope she did not accept because that so-called apology don't mean a damn thing, especially coming from him, even if it was genuine. So this is the kind of person that we're dealing with here. So when Marlon decided to go after Vlad in the tone that he did, just think about all the stuff that Vlad has done in the past, just in, the, you know, just in this year alone. It doesn't even have to be over the, the span of his so-called career. But I think the thing that probably made the people the mad the most was the fact that you had Vlad trying to downplay Marlon Wayne's success as if him doing the movie White Chicks was his claim to fame. And it's like, those of us in the know knows that Marlon Wayans has been doing this since the early 90s. Now, I have a picture up here of their family where you have their mother, their father, and all the siblings right there. And that's like the core right there is way, it's more of them. Cause like I said, the Wayans family is huge. Like they're, they get the, like all those kids that their parents had then the grandkids. And I'm sure there's some great grands in there as well. And, th and these, and this, they literally birthed these two people right here, literally birthed a comedy family dynasty, much like Joe and Catherine birthed the, uh, that Jackson's dynasty. So when he said stuff like that and he tried to belittle Marlon Wayans as if all he was known for was white chicks and stuff like that, that literally comes from a place definitely of how white people so-called discovered Marlon Wayans. Again, we've known Marlon Wayans and his entire family for the most part since the early 90s. If you're just now discovering him from white chicks, then you need to go back and look at this man's catalog if you just wanna focus solely on him between the movies he's done uh, the television shows he's done, the stand-up that he's done. And not only that, he's a very versatile actor. He can do comedy, which we all know him for, but he can also do drama. If you have not watched him on Bel Air, I highly suggest that you do because he's playing Will's father, Lou. And if you remember the OG uh, Fresh Prince where Ben Vereen played Lou, you already know we don't like Lou. But I think they're trying to do a redemption arc type of thing with his character this season. We'll see how it goes. But the fact that he tried to belittle him into just this little pocket known as White Chicks, which, by the way, is a Wayans family production. It's ironic that Vlad left that part out. But not only is this family great on screen, but they're great behind the scenes. I mean, think about Keenan Ivory Wayans. He literally put that whole family on his back with In Living Color. He put a lot of them on and not just on his family but other people as well if it wasn't for keenan ivory waynes we wouldn't have jim carrey or jamie fox or tommy davidson or anything like that not saying we wouldn't have those people but he gave them a pet a launch pad to really kick off their careers because what did jamie fox end up doing he ended up getting his own show he did movies he won an oscar 
and so on and so forth. So when he says that, that's what really I think at the core of it is what pissed a lot of people off was for him to try to carp, uh, carp, uh, carp, you know, I can't think of the word right now, but try to reduce his status down to one movie. No, we knew Marlon before White Chicks and we know of him after White Chicks. As a matter of fact, I think Marlon Wayans is supposed to be in that new Jordan Peele movie. So far, I think he's the only one I know who's casted and he's in the lead, which is dope for him because rarely does he play lead roles. He's usually always in the supporting role. So, and then we know how Jordan Peele movies are. So we know this is going to be far from a comedy. So when Blast is up there and he says stuff like that, that's what made a lot of people come at him the way that he did, including Marlon himself, because he's going to defend himself. Now, I do have some issues with Marlon Wayans. I do. I've spoken some things, talked about some things involving him that I wasn't too fond of or too much of a fan of. But I'll put it like this. I think everybody as a collective has more of an issue with Vlad than Marlon Wayans, than anything. And I don't want to speak for the collective, but I'm going to do it right now. I think as a collective, we have way more issue with Vlad. And I don't know what it's going to take for Vlad to finally just like dissipate or just go away. But it needs to happen soon and it needs to happen fast rather than later. But wait, there's more. So I thought I was done with the commentary, but I had to add this part in there, especially since It'll be a couple of more days before y'all actually see what I have to say about it. This post went up on August 21st, and apparently DJ Vlad, or just Vlad, has been going around asking or telling people about his encounter with Marlon Wayans online and just trying to give people's opinion and take on. I believe he was sitting down with D.L. Hughley, another one of his regulars, as I like to call it, on his platform. So Marlon said, yo, DJ Vlad, you asking everyone about my price. It's crazy. This is the most attention you've gotten in years. There's good press and there's bad press. You losing to a legend. I'm a people's champ. Take the L. I mean, literally, this guy, Vlad, like literally he is in his feelings, but he's always in his feelings when he doesn't get his way, like I specified in the previous parts. He cannot, when he doesn't get his way, that's when he starts to go on the slander campaign. But Marlon wasn't done yet when it came to just this post because he made another post. And I think this one right here is the part that's really going to upset him the most. So he made this post right here on the same day right after the post that y'all just saw. He said, hey, hey DJ Vlad, I'm going to do everyone else's platform except yours, starting with who hate, for, who hate first. I'm guessing he meant to say who you hate first, but I understand. At Club Shay Shay. Interview coming soon. Wild Child Tour coming to a city near you. And then he puts his website. And now he says everyone else but you. So that means that a lot of other people are going to have an opportunity to sit down and interview Marlon Wayans. And he probably won't charge them nearly a fraction of what he was going to talk to Vlad. So this right here pretty much cements it right here. That what I said earlier. Him giving him that $40,000 price range was really his way of saying, Vlad, I don't want to sit down with you. I don't want to have an interview with you. You can talk to everybody else. It is what it is, but you're not going to get anything out of me, but we can keep this thing going if you really want. Like he said, this is the most attention he's gotten in years, and honestly, it probably is. As a matter of fact, this thing that he's been doing on this little tirade that he's been going on this year as y'all saw in the first part of the video is probably the most attention he's got in here but look at what he had to go and do in order to achieve that he couldn't get it on his own merit so what does he do i'm just gonna slander black people well that's not a shock or surprise to anybody considering that's the kind of sleazeball thing i would expect him to do because that's what a scumbag like him has always done that's how he got on that's how he was able to progress that's how he was able to maintain but every dog has their day and eventually you will fall and right now vlad may or may not know it but that's exactly what's happening to him right now whether he likes it or not